Hello? OK, so today's my talk is called uh, Stories from the Japanese WordPress Community. First, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, as Taco said, my name is Naoko. Uh, how to remember this name is pretty easy now, like right now, and the company, Naoko. That's how you say my name. I'm a globalizer at Automatic, uh, which means that my team helps uh, Automatic internationalize their products, including WordPress.com and several other plugins and other services. I'm not a developer right now. I do project management um, and marketing and uh, community outreach, everything that are not coding with, within my team. And um, if so, that's on my uh, WordPress.com or my work-related role. But uh, in the WordPress.org community, I'm been, uh, I've been a Japanese general translation editor for a long time. And I'm one of the six people who are on that role right now. So if you saw uh, Cal and Sergey's talk, uh, they talked about uh, several area, areas that you can get involved. Uh, I'm going to show you how uh, we do it in Japan. So WordPress in Japan. It's an old community. It's as long as WordPress itself. I think the first translation of WordPress into Japanese started the winter of the year WordPress started. So it's like maybe half a year behind the WordPress itself. So it's as long as WordPress, 13 years old. Um, today, WordPress in Japanese is most active, actively used language besides English. So uh, WordPress is, so if you say there are 100% of WordPress sites, 54% of that is English, US English. And um, if you take that out and make another 100% with all other locales or languages, uh, or Japanese is the number one uh, with 12.3%. 12, 12 so that's about 10% um, of English usage. Uh, it's counted based on the active sites. Uh, so the stats is now on wordpress.org slash about stats. Um, Japanese popularity is followed by German, Spanish, French, and Russian. Uh, we've been lucky. WordPress, I mean, Japanese have uh, many, many speakers in one country, so one culture. It's very easy to communicate to each other. Um, you know, it's like monoculture. Uh, it's easy to form a community compared to uh, many other locales that has a different uh, background in people's, um, you know, lives and uh, customs. But not all OSS, uh, open source, uh, popular uh, CMSs or uh, services that are popular in uh, Western uh, countries, not, not all of them are popular in Japan. So what is different uh, with you know, WordPress and other uh, services or CMSs? Um, so uh, WordPress powers 78.5% of Japanese sites with CMS. Number two is Adobe Dreamweaver. <laughs> I don't know if it's a CMS. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's like a site authoring tool. So it's kind of like uh, in the same group as WordPress. And uh, number three is uh, what's called LiveDraw blog. It's like a hosted blog solution. Uh, you don't see Drupal or Joomla or Typo3, which are popular in other countries. WordPress wins uh, by far because of the uh, community, I think. I mean, you know, WordPress is the same everywhere you go. It's the same functionality. I mean, the translation is different. What's different among uh, different countries, you know, that's community. That's the strength of WordPress in Japan. WordPress is used by a prime minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, by a popular newspaper, the Japan Times. It's an English, uh, uh, one of the uh, most popular English newspaper in Japan, um, also online. And other small sites like this uh, Ryokan, it's a Japanese inn. Uh, I mean, they have you know different sites made by made with WordPress. There are many, 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 many books <laughs> in Japanese about WordPress. Uh, some of the authors are in this room. <laughs> All my Japanese friends came to uh, listen to this talk, and I wrote some of the very, very old one uh, with a 
WordPress, I don't know, what was it, 2.5, something like that, a uh, very old one. But uh, since a long time, everybody is running WordPress on these books, also in Japanese. So in 2013, I came to World Camp, the first World Camp Europe in Leiden, and I talked about the kind of the same story about how Japanese community grew so much, and this was my uh, answer. So you take small steps, and you know you can get more people involved, and just keep it going. By doing that, you can make one little dot into these many, many, many dots, and that's the power of the community. So I still believe in that. Uh, it's still going on today. Uh, so in Matt's talk earlier today, he said like Wix and Squarespace, they spent you know, several millions of dollars into advertisement. WordPress that doesn't have it. I mean, WordPress.com spends a little bit of uh, marketing fees, but that's not why WordPress is popular in Japan at all. <laughs> I mean, WordPress is popular because of the open source community and the uh, people behind it. When I talk about WordPress community in Japan, I think of lots of offline events. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the online activities we do, but I think by getting people together in one place. You know, there are some talks about meetups earlier today. Um, that kind of kicked off the community, um, and it helped us a lot. So, uh, you know, Kel introduced Takayuki Miyoshi. Uh, he's a, a Contact Form 7 author. He started what's called Wordbench. It is a website uh, uh, powered by BuddyPress, and it's a community website for WordPress users to start a meetup in your own city. Um, before, uh, at the time, this was in 2008, at the time there was no you know, community rules about meetup.com usage or you know, there wasn't any like, community team on WordPress.org. Uh, we kind of got, you know, had a, a, an early start by having a site like this. You know, this site doesn't, you know, help you. I mean, this does, doesn't, you know, organize Meetup by itself. I mean, it doesn't do anything on its own. But it makes it really easy for you to see that there are many other ones that are doing the same thing and that you can do it too because you, there's a sign-up form. You know, there are uh, other activities that you can see. So I think that really helped it, uh, but not just by saying, hey, you can have a meetup, you can do this, that. You see other people doing it by you know, having this site. Um, I think it helped it a lot. Uh, so Warbench is a um, community meetup. So it's the same as what, what they call meetup. Um, we have about like 25 um, active groups um, in different cities. And meetups are held almost every weekend in Japan somewhere. It's like World Camp worldwide. Some, uh, you know, every weekend there's a meetup somewhere in Japan. This slide is from, I think, three or four years ago. We created this uh, flyer. Uh, there's a designer who actually designed the Kabuki Wapu, the one that's in the middle. He designed this flyer as well to promote WordBench at the open source conference event. And since then, we have more and more WordBench uh, events. These are banners that uh, WordBench use for their own community website or their own event. Like every event has sometimes, like Osaka, they create different banner for every event once a month. And you know, some make flyers. Uh, this was World Volcano, which was uh, like a festival type of WordPress uh, conference event. And we have Wordbench Tokyo, and the organizers are here. And we had uh, Word Udon. Udon means like the noodle, uh, because uh, in Kagawa, it's a popular food there. So you know, they create something very unique on, its, on their own. Uh, so this is a calendar we have linked from ja.wordpress.org website. Um, this also helps to see there's so many other, you know, Communities having meetups, uh, you know, every weekend there's at least one or two. You know, except for sometimes like there's a holiday or something, you don't have it. But otherwise, 
you, know, you have one or two everywhere. So when people say, when's your next meetup, you can point to this and say, like, it's going to be updated you know, next time. And uh, word camps, we have lots of word camps, uh, 17 word camps in eight years. Um, I have a short story to tell about this too, but I don't have much time, so I'm going to um, skip it for now. And uh, please don't tweet this one, because we haven't announced this yet, WordCamp Tokyo image. <laughs> but uh, that's the uh, WAPU for this year. So we're going to have WordCamp Kansai in July, and WordCamp Tokyo in two, uh, I mean, uh, uh, September. You're all welcome to come. And in both of the, this is the one that you can tweet. <laughs> it's a good one, it's a good one. It's a secret one. Um, and uh, on both uh, World Camps, we can have English speakers. And World Camp Tokyo is going to have a, an English track. It's called Global Track. And we're going to have lots of uh, speakers from uh, outside of Japan, too. Um, Cal talked about we have different festivals. Uh, world crab, with, <laughs> they eat a, world, a crab after a meetup, or bash where they have uh, beer while they're having meetup. Uh, many unique events. Uh, they learn uh, from the sessions. Uh, they teach each other. They get connected. That's the uh, uh, that's the reason you want to try to have meetups and um, world world camp and other events. And you know. Meeting people and having real um, offline events are great, but the power of WordPress community also goes online. So translation. Uh, we have six GTEs that are people on the top. We can translate and validate or approve um, decline anybody's translation, including core and plugins and uh, themes. We have a project project translation editors. They can translate certain um, specific themes and plugins. And we have contributors. They don't have rights to approve anything, but they have com contributed to the translation suggestions. Um, transla global translation, there was mentioned earlier. We did participate. And then also, we achieved uh, part of our goals, which was to make uh, the top 100 themes and plugins that are uh, popular to be 100% per, uh, translated. We are 100% with the themes. So the 100 themes are translated into Japanese 100%. And 100 plugins um, are not yet there, not, not there yet. But 42% of top 100 plugins, which means 42 plugins are translated. There are some of the red ones that we marked. It's not translatable, actually. So uh, we have some issues also. Uh, but you know, by setting a goal, like, let's try to get this top 100 done, we were able to you know, get closer to the goal without thinking, oh, we have 45,000 plugins and you know, thousands of themes to translate, which seems a lot of work, but we can get close to the goals by setting a, a you know infinite number. Uh, we have lots of documentation um, contributors. Uh, 480 people uh, signed up to this Japanese uh, codex. We have a separate install, um, and, you know, thousand pages, and these are most of, uh, some of the top contributors. And we have uh, very active support forum members. Um, and also, these are the top members from the uh, last release cycle. We, <laughs> we actually... Um, <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Museum announcement. <laughs> I'm not sure. OK. <laughs> so we have uh, lots of forums uh, contributors who are actively um, participating. They, some of them answer like hundreds of hundreds of questions um, every like couple of months. Uh, we have a local SAC, uh, Tai. He is also a GTE for a long time. He started a local SAC um, so we can communicate in Japanese. 
and we also have um, you know core contributors. Uh, there are some in here also. Uh, we have a page about how to report the bug in Japanese and what to do if you find anything, uh, any issue. Uh, they might not be able to report it in English, but we also have a forum uh, thread where they can report it in English, uh, in Japanese, and we take it from there to help them out too. Um, and also. Um, <laughs> wapu. We have lots of wapus, but of course not everybody's, every wapu is from Japan. Um, let me tell you the story about wapu and World Camp Europe. So in 2013, when I was on stage, I showed some of the wapu creations, uh, not just the you know um, illustrations, but like people m making you know uh, plush wapu or uh, their you know different uh, creations that. They liked the wapu so much that they made. And uh, actually, one of the <laughs> people who are also here, uh, Scott and Simon from um, Code for the People at the time, they made their own wapu for the Christmas card. And then they also did a uh, war camp uh, London, uh, punk wapu. And then it kind of spread to all over the place. So I think, um, so that's the punk wapu. Uh, so I think it's very exciting for people in Japan to see the power of you know, open sourcing something. You know, WAPU is kind of unique. Uh, it's a, an illustration, so it's not cool, but you can create something cool and let other people do whatever they want to do with it. And it will be you know, like this. Like, you can't do it by yourself. You have to let other people help you to make something cool, right? And there's a WAPU JSON API right now, and then these contributors are in here also. There's 3D WAPU in production right now. Yeah, this is a project for WordCamp uh, Kansai that's coming up. Uh, there's a model, like actual WAPU being created. It's in the process, but you can follow with the, you know, that uh, GitHub repo. So. Um, in the last section, I only have a few minutes, but I'm going to talk about uh, ways to get others involved. Okay, so you can do a lot of things, but you're going to burn out if you're the only one doing it or you uh, only a few of them doing it. So how can you get others involved? We created this Get Involved page. It's kind of like uh, make.wordpress.org in Japanese, but not, in, you know, not so much into details. We just uh, showed some of the things you can do in Japanese, and we also linked to uh, make.wordpress.org to say you can contribute in many different areas. These are people who translated and made the pages, and um, Maiko is here, and uh, Nukaga-san is here. <laughs> and we also do contributor day and meetups, uh, contributor meetups, not just regular meetups, but um, there's like a WordPress Contribute Club is a name of a, a meetup series in Japan, in Tokyo. Uh, they get together once a month and they teach each other how to contribute to WordPress, like how to translate, how to create a patch, how to uh, create a, a theme for release or plugins for release. Because the things are not always easy for people to understand, especially everything is written in English. Um, by helping each other uh, at the same place, you can learn from each other too. Um, then we made some um, contributor badges for uh, WordCamp Osaka and Tokyo too. Um, so it's a good way to help others get involved. Uh, make sure you come to the one in, uh, on Sunday. And we recognize people by uh, saying who helped uh, each release, like translators, um, um, testers for Japanese specific things, and forum contributors for the duration of one uh, release cycle, and whoever uh, reported bugs that are specific to Japanese or things like that, we include that in the, uh, so this is Coma, WordPress 4.5. At the end of it, we uh, announce them too. So by giving other people help to get involved, you can create more contributor, you know, contributor, uh, uh, more, more people who can contribute. And by connecting these dots, we can create the world with many more contributors. Uh, you can't do it alone, 
So WordPress needs you not to work on your own so much, but to grow the community, right? So you, you want to uh, keep that in mind. You want to help other people, and you want them to help others too. So be creative, you know, have fun, and keep it going. That's my advice. Thank you.